Hello, Todd Bog here uh, from Breaking the Stream, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium IV, uh, Voice of L. Uh, where we last left off, we had just eliminated uh, one of the High Cultist large armies. Uh, we took some casualties in return, of course. Uh, so we're in a bit of a less than ideal situation in terms of our melee troops, but we did overall uh, eliminate a threat, which will allow us to control this area a little bit better here. So um, with that, we're going to go ahead and continue um, our run. Uh, so uh, Priam, Priamon here has been uh, basically going through and converting areas uh, so we can continue to get the income while we duel with blue here. Uh, so we're going to probably continue that there. So we'll go ahead and head down here. And we'll convert this settlement. All right. Uh, Fund may just eliminate the boars on his way up to going back home. Um, let's take a look here. Don't have a lot of gold. We do have some extra flagellants, though. All right. Um... With what we've got there, I'm not worried about the other blue armies that we saw, so we'll go ahead and take these instead. Get some extra income, and then when we do return, we'll be able to get more. Luigi here is bringing some melee troops down. Um, and then I forget, does Luigi... He has Banish and Blessing, so he doesn't have Conversion, unfortunately, but uh, Luigi will be able to come here. And we'll transfer some archers. And we'll come down here. All right. In turn. All right. An angel has come to my cause, and we got another scout offer. So this angel is up here in this hamlet. So um, I should always check because they have different powers. Yeah, mass conversion again. So that is going to be useful if I can control one. I don't know if he'll live long enough. Uh, like our previous ones, they... Uh, do tend to uh, die to just about everything, but if we can pick them up and put them in an army, um, if that works, then that's awesome, but we'll see. Here, though, let's see. I think I can convert this tribal village. We'll see in just a sec here. Uh, I think coming back and taking these things here will be useful. Uh, he's only got two archers on the walls there, so we'll be able to take that pretty easily. Um... Do I want the scout? I think we'll hold off on the scout for now. Um, we'll go ahead and turn. All right. So might as well take that now. Uh, let's see. Luigi will come down here. And let's go ahead and transfer these archers. All right. Here. We're going to go convert the settlement. Now stops acting up. There we go. Uh, so they actually act like a farm in their their cost. So that's pretty cool. So we can convert both of these settlements, uh, no problem. So all right. Don't mind having ten relics a turn coming in. That's really good. All right. So we'll go ahead and speed this through. And it looks like. We managed to finish them out without taking any casualties that I saw. It's very good. Oh, a bishop. That's cool. And a sea father. And an angel. All right. So we got another angel. Um, so let's look at what the sea father is. Uh, can cast hydromancy level two spells. Devoted their life to the study of the sea as a trident. And he's amphibious. Uh, so we get in this because we have a number of libraries in our control, or I guess just the one, um, and the one temple. But we got a bishop here, um, so we could get another bishop. We have the gold for that if we wanted to, so, so I'll think about that in the interim, though. Let's go ahead and transfer, and let's go ahead and get uh, these archers here, and we'll leave them on the walls. So that'll protect it from any animals that might come by. And we'll go ahead and come down here. And I think with this force... Mm, those crossbows. Lots of crossbows. I think we could take it, but it may not be worth it right now to get this guard tower. So 
we'll take a look and see what that looks like. Um, up here, though, Luigi, we can go ahead and recruit. Um, we'll go ahead and recruit this bishop here. Ah, the deer took the town up there. Okay. Uh, I was not expecting that, so we'll go ahead and come up here. And I probably should get some archers on there when I get the gold again next round, so. Okay. Here. Might as well take the settlements and then we can convert them next round. They're going to take a while to do so. Uh, and then that should be our turn. So we'll go ahead and turn. And our poor... Oh, well, blue took it. Um, yeah, so... So much for our zealot that we had. Ooh, okay, that's a sizable force that I'm not going to be able to retake that tower back from them. I don't think I'm worried about that force against this force because of the amount of archers I have. He's got nothing but spearmen in this army, so... Um, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll uh, use this time to do a little scouting, shall we? Uh, we can come down here. Here we're going to do what we were supposed to do, which is convert the settlement. That'll take all the way until next turn. Uh, here, we'll go ahead and take that town back. Um, let's see, that is a converted town though, so we'd be getting some of the income anyways. And then we'll uh, swing back, grab these two farms, and then probably kill these deer if we can. Um, I'm sure that moose is going to wreck stuff. So. All right, let's go ahead and recruit, though, in the other city. Uh, we're going to get the archers on the wall. And those will be a permanent fixture at this point. Prevent them from taking things. Okay. Angel's not so bright, huh? I think the angel moved on his own and, and did that, so... Where did he attack is the question. Oh. Well, let's see, you got an angel coming up here and taking stuff, so. Don't know how they move. Well, I should probably start paying attention to that, so. Uh, here we got 73 units now, so we did a recruit of some sort. Um, and he's got just about as many archers as I do. His front line isn't as good as mine, but he's got more numbers for sure. Uh, mine is actually not that great either, so. Um. Let's go ahead. Ooh, what is that? Gem deposit with earth gnomes. Uh, let's see, what are they? They're pass wall. So they just walk through walls. Okay. Uh, they have mountain move, amphibious. They're resistant to a lot of things. Um, 17 health and one armor, and they do geomancy spells. And they hit for 1 to 5 damage, so definitely interesting I don't need the gem deposits although they are worth gold so we'll just go ahead and come down here and just see what we see uh, here you can get this and we'll convert that settlement over all right so we're gonna do some damage here it looks like um, <coughs> this guy here Luigi uh, we need to recruit in Luigi's town. We'll go ahead and throw some archers on there. We're going against all these wonderful animals, as you can see here. But we'll go ahead and eliminate some of them as well. Um, all right. And then I do want to check my bishop here. Uh, I just want to see what my next power is going to cost me. So we can bolster devotion. Um... Let's see, uh, that would increase the units I receive. So it looks like we're saving up for 150, and I think what we'll do is we'll probably break the third seal um, so we can get that going, so that'll be a few more rounds. All right, let's go ahead and end turn. There we go. And he is chasing me, so that's not great. Wealthy merchant from a land across the seas traveling through the country. He's recently come ashore in the west. Okay. So yeah, not where I want to be. Let's 
go ahead and just head this direction. If he wants to hit me, he can. Um, I think, though, the saving grace here is going to be my conversion. Because uh, I have the mass conversion, that will definitely help. Um, but we are definitely going to take some casualties on that. Uh, pre arm can't move anyways at this point. Here... We may need to leave some troops behind on that iron mine because we need that iron as a source of uh, income there. Um, let's see, my angel has moved over here. So looks like uh, looks like he has standard move. I'm guessing because he flies. Uh, let's see, flying. Um, enter any terrain at only one action point, so that means he's not affected by the ground terrain. So he can move at a pretty good clip. Um, this is the giant ant hill that the other angel attacked, so at least now we know what's up there. And he's going to be doing scouting for us, so I can't really complain about that. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and recruit units. We'll do it in Star Spire. And we're going to probably need some uh, Temple Guard. Continue to get those guys because they are blessed. And uh, as I strengthen my blessing, they're going to be worth more, so... Yep, so he is moving. Horrors attack us in a hamlet. Yeah, no, dude, your, your fists aren't going to do much against those things. So, all right. So we got a few messages here. Uh, we got 74 gold from our contribution to L. Uh, so I think we might start saving up to get to Archbishop. A religious fervor has caused 26 flagellants to appear in your converted settlements in order to spread the word of L. We have a bishop and an ice druid. My, my, my. Look at all these flagellants. So, as you can see, there's a reason to convert these settlements in. Um, that's a huge influx of new bodies here. So, um, is it 73? Okay. So, we'll come up here and we'll go ahead and transfer these flagellants. Um, and then the debate is on, right? Uh, we'll go ahead and put them together just in case and then we'll do a sweep of these flagellants and uh, We'll continue to build up gold here. I think and then Yeah, we'll do that we may bring him down and then we can wipe out this stack of uh, blues forces here uh, Utilizing our, our combined forces here uh, to sender resist magic and blessing banish and blessing, okay all right, that is all my commanders. Let's go up here and just see how far, yeah, he attacked the horrors there, so, okay. Go ahead and turn. All right, so go ahead and pick up Priamon again, actually, and uh, we'll make sure fund is chosen. Okay. So we got a number of them here. So um, we'll go ahead and pick that up and transfer these guys. All right. So we're definitely improving our number of troops compared to these guys. I mean, these guys have shields, so that's a, a bonus over my flagellants. Uh, but my flagellants right now are doing 1 to 7 damage and they have 7 hit points because they're getting extra strength and hit points here so that's pretty nice um, and then if I improve my blessing they'll be even better so and next round we'll be able to break that next seal so we'll hopefully see some uh, even more uh, progress in regards to that Luigi though let's see oh my gosh alright so Luigi will come here. There. Okay. And here. I should have paid attention. He'll probably attack Luigi. And that sucks. Ah, uh, well. That's what you get sometimes. All right. Uh, I believe we'll hit uh, end turn. Yeah, darn it.
too many archers. If we had some sort of conversion on these guys, that would have been great, but yeah, that was a stupid move on my part. We did our damage though, so we're gonna we're gonna attack them. Ah, very cool. Love the weapons master. For those of you that were on my uh, or watched my last let's play, weapons master is army trainer, so he gives one XP per month to the unit he's with, uh, and uh, so very useful. Um, so I think he's going to probably come up here and join this fight. Um, so we'll go ahead and here we'll transfer my flagellant. There we go. Um, and then we'll crash into them. We'll finally get rid of them. I'll throw him into the stack here. Oh. Um, so that's rough. Uh, assuming we don't massively lose this fight, I'll then be able to use the next turn to upgrade fun to an archbishop. And we can use uh, our funds to, or our relics to break the next seal. So, all right. Let's see how we do. All right, let's see that mass conversion kick in. Come on. Yeah, we just about lost our entire melee line. Templar is doing his best to survive. But yeah, it doesn't look like we even got in any other conversion spells. All right, uh, well, that was the last of the High Cultists, though, so... Uh, that's a boon on our side. Um, so we don't have to worry about our villain to the south here now. Um, but this army has definitely taken a beating now. So, Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to replenish our forces here uh, with commanders when we can recruit them. Um, so, uh, Priamon... We'll actually probably separate out now and become a commander... Um, so, oh my god, really, I just, this has been bad luck for my commanders. Um, well, then there's only one thing to do, and that's to attack with everybody. Um, okay, so, that sucks, I was gonna show off that, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back to that next time. Alright, so bandits, okay, nice and easy. Save my commander from being murdered. And yep, flagellants are trying to hold on to their towns that they they appeared in, but as you can see, our enemy is quite numerous. All right, um, how do we want to do this? Priamon, we'll come here for now, and that's enough to kill animals. So we'll do that. Uh, this stack here, we're going to go ahead and use our special powers before that. So now we have a Cardinal. So now Cardinal gets some additional abilities. You can start a Crusade or call the Inquisition. So a Crusade uh, will go against a player of your choice and continue until the player is annihilated or the Crusade is defeated. Um, it's a formidable army, so an army gets summoned out of the blue, I believe, is how that works. And then the Inquisition will go against all non-converted settlements and make sure they get converted. So brings out some additional units as well so we got that done uh, let's see that only took one action point so we're gonna go ahead and use our special power here to also break the third seal and then we're going to move down here and what I want to do is take over this stuff here and uh, hopefully that tower will be clear and we'll be able to use that so uh, in the meantime let's see we need to get archers back on the walls there to prevent any animals from coming over. We'll go ahead and hit end turn. There we go. Nice and easy. Alright. Apocalypse is coming. Plague has come to Elysium. Hmm. I wonder if it has to do with my seals breaking, huh? We'll find out later, I guess. Alright. So we're going to move down here and we're going to just eliminate these snakes. And then we'll recapture all that's around here. Um, here, again, we're going to have to work on undoing the work that the animals have done. Um, 
and we can already recruit again in Ossandius. Uh, let's see. So Ossandius will get me some... I think Temple Guards are my best choice here. So we'll do that. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll pick these guys up on our way over. And we'll be able to buy some archers to put back on the walls to protect against the animals. So, Alright, let's go ahead and turn. There we go. Nice and easy. Winter is here. Okay, so let's see. Go here. And just as I thought, the guard tower is empty. Um, there's an oasis with a sylph. Sylph casts storm magic and has gusts of wind, which is a burst 9 attack. So that does a massive uh, area attack. Um, otherwise, it's ethereal. Oh, okay, there we go. So only uh, 1 in 4 chance of actually hitting the thing. So It's on an oasis, which gives you additional trade in gold. And there's a coal mine here as well. So, And then uh, I've learned to fear the death fungus. Those of you who watched my last Let's Play, uh, had a bunch of treemen with massive amounts of life, and they died to fungus. It was... It was, it was pretty bad. Tree rot everywhere. It was uh, it was disheartening when it happened because I was not expecting it. Uh, and so, yeah, much respect now to those guys. All right, let's go ahead and transfer. Uh, let's see. We're going to transfer everybody that we have here. And then what we're going to do is recruit. Let's just make sure we'll recruit some archers on the wall. Oh, did I... Oh, because of winter. I always forget winter hurts. Um, hurts that, so. Uh, let's see. With this force, all of this is converted, so I'm not too worried about it. Do we head back down here? Or do I head down this way? We're going to head down this way. And we can go ahead and transfer the flagellant that was there. Two flagellants have come to your holy cause. Um, I'm guessing these guys. Okay. Very cool. Uh, let's see. My archbishop here. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the other thing I wanted to check. He's now up to level three spells. So he's got true faith. It's a charm. Um, only affects humans. Area effect, burst 25, range of five. Um... So, yeah, burst 25 is just a much larger burst. Um, so, at this point, Divine Word is a banish. So, um, and that's five strikes. So, at this point, he's got the best spells here. I don't know why I would want true, or, does true faith costs or take more time to cast? Um... Well, at this point, we don't need conversion. We'll throw True Faith on, and we'll let him do it that way. Okay. But here, we need to recruit in a couple places. So, Asandius, we'll go ahead and recruit there. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw some archers there. Uh, here, we can actually just transfer five archers. Uh, two, four, five, uh, to protect that tower there. Uh, the rest should be more than enough to, to take what we need. And then we're going to head south here to find Blue's cities and uh, take them. Uh, Priamon is going to continue their march down this way. And we're going to uh, start converting these territories over here as well. Alright, we'll go ahead and turn. Scout and a bishop. Okay, good. We need more uh, more commanders at this point. So, what do we got here? Gold stream. Uh, project lightning. Damage 1 to 8. Plus extra effect. Uh, 3 armor. And 42 life. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to take that with the force we have here. At least not currently. 
uh, but that gold stream will definitely be useful in the future with the amount of gold it has. And here, I could go to the farm, but let's go ahead and eliminate the deer. Um, it should be, we should be out of winter by then, and uh, we'll be able to do a little bit more. We need to recruit our bishop, though, and we'll recruit our bishop. Actually, we'll recruit it up here in our home citadel. I know it's a far bit to walk, but... Um, oh, and we got wolves. That's not great. Um, two flagellants. All right, well, let's figure out what spells we got. Blessing and resist magic. So no conversion again. Uh, that seems to be a rare choice on spell. Uh, let's go ahead and transfer up these guys. And we'll come back. So we at least have something against the wolves. I don't know if the wolves decide to attack whether we'll win or not, but it's something. Kill the deer. All right, and we're back to spring. Oh, which is good. Uh, as you can see, the wolves did take something here. Um, we can go ahead and recruit. What do I need against the wolves here? Uh, see, now we can recruit Templars here. Or could we always? I, I guess I didn't look at them. The Templars are pretty amazing. Um, yeah, let's do the Templars. Uh, let's go ahead and transfer... I'm guessing we didn't have the Templars before, because uh, that would have been a no-brainer for me. Uh, we'll go ahead and take out these wolves. Uh, here. Let's just go down here. Alright, what do we got? Elephant. And some guy on gems. Uh, not really important there. Um, here, Priram. Convert that settlement. This one's already converted, so that's awesome. And we'll come down here. Don't really need those archers to fight off the animals that we have coming out. So we're good there. And we got almost enough to break our next seal, but I think we're going to improve our blessing instead. Oh, that's so nice. That's going to be a huge upgrade for my army. 39 flagellants. Excellent. We got a scout and a bishop available as well. Um, so yeah, we got six and five, so we got a army of flagellants we can use, so we'll go ahead and transfer. I should have checked to see if we had any there, but we didn't, so that's good. Uh, we'll go ahead and transfer here. Oh, transfer. There we go. Um, there's a flagellant there. So two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 13 in that area. And we got two here. And let's go ahead and do the transfer and see if we got any of those flagellants here. We did. Excellent. All right. So go here and let's go ahead and convert that settlement. And down here, we can take this oasis. All right, I should be looking at trade. What could I do with my trade? I don't think, okay, so that's cool. I didn't know you can click on it to see your sources. This tells you your sources of income there, and this will tell you that. Oh, very cool. All right, well, let's go to trade admin. Uh, so we could buy relics, but that costs us gold, and right now I think gold is good for us. I could sell relics, um, but Selling relics might be useful in the future, but we'll, we'll, we won't worry about that now. Let's worry about getting our blessing buffed. Because these flagellants become better and better with each of those blessing buffs that we get. So, um, Excellent. All right, so that's that. And let's go ahead and turn. All right. Yeah, that wasn't going to go very far. This we might have a chance at. Uh, just an extra die roll, and it would have been great, but that's all right. At the end of the world, as it were. Uh, although we are working towards that, apparently. So we'll go ahead and get more Templars. Uh, can we? We can get them anywhere. Oh, oh, that's that's beautiful. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and grab some more Templars for this guy for now. And let's go ahead and transfer. And you can swing down and pick up uh, 
some other things here. All right, you sir, go ahead and use your special power. Uh, let's go ahead and bolster, no, no, bolster devotion. I want to increase divine f favor. So, just to make sure you guys are aware, one morale, two hit points, one strength. Oh, we're one short. I'm sorry. So we'll have to do that uh, next round. Let's see. And you're just mountains. Okay. And that's the end of that. Okay. Well, I have a feeling these are going to do something at some point. But let's go ahead and continue what we're doing. Bolster that faith, shall we? And we'll go ahead and turn. bears before they can get through that gate so it's a good thing we left those archers on the wall though all right so you now instead of getting half we're getting uh, a, a stronger portion um so 128 gold and we got another angel sweet so we'll see what that angel ends up doing but um very cool so we've converted that i'm curious can we convert towers let's see use special powers no okay Good to know. Um, what we'll do, though, is we'll recruit units at the tower, and we'll get him some Templars, because they're amazing. Um, let's go ahead and transfer. So, just to make sure you guys remember, Templars are great because they have a shield, so that blocks the 0 to 1 damage, plus armor, so they're blocking 3 to 4 damage per uh, enemy. Um, and when you remember that the standard archer here only does 1 to 3 damage with their short bow, um, that that means a lot, and uh, they have, they're also blessed, um, which again one morale, two hit points, and one strength right now. Let's see what it goes up to with the archbishop. All right, use special powers. We're going to increase divine favor, and now we'll get to see. Oh. That didn't, uh, that didn't do anything that I could see. Oh, well. Gets me to the next step, I guess, and we'll see. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be water here, but I may want to push onto the mountains here and, and just see for sure. Uh, so this group here has a pretty, oh, has a pretty sizable army. Um, not a lot of archer support, but the big thing are the uh, Templars. So we could definitely make some pushes if we want to. Um, I'm curious if it'd be worth trying to control the ancient forest. Um, well, let's do that. It's going to be an ambush, and hopefully it's not mushrooms. If it is, we're screwed, but we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, Roland here with his army... a lot of boars I think we got it though so we'll try and do that as well and maybe we'll take care of some of our spawners here um, in terms of recruits I think we're going to recruit archers where they make sense uh, just for that token defense and then we'll go from there so save up the gold and maybe yeah shrooms that's not good Yep, that that was rough. This one wasn't as bad though. All right, so the question is, did they kill my leader and the other one? And they did, of course. So, uh this might be worth just sitting on there for now because it'll prevent it from spawning, I believe. Uh, here. Transfer those guys for now, I guess, and see if they can hold it. Um, that's just a singular bear. So let's see what else we've got over here. I'm guessing we'll run into water soon enough. We'll come here. Um, yeah. 
It's unfortunate that that's water there, but that's what I thought it would be. Okay, um, in the meantime, I wonder what our angel is going to end up doing there. We'll find out, I guess. Those are all settled, settled, settled. Okay, what do we have down here? We got three, six, and six. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, hit uh, end turn. Because I think we're recruited where we want to be. And I want to try out some of the special powers as well. So a green enchantress. Okay, that might be worth recruiting. We'll see. Uh, but with that, we're going to go ahead and leave, uh, leave it here. Um, this episode will be wrapped up here. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe as it means a lot to us. Uh, as a growing channel. I'm really enjoying doing these playthroughs of Conquest Elysium and you're going to probably continue to see them for, for at least uh, the immediate future and we'll see what happens. Uh, this will be a bonus episode we're going to put up uh, for Saturday um, and we're going to try and do through the, the holiday weekend so that people can enjoy uh, the new playthrough and we can get up to speed. We just got to quit losing our leaders. So um, with that I'll bid you guys adieu.